Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. And in today's video, as y'all can see, I have all 20 of the My Team Anniversary cards here in my collection. Some of them original owners, some of them not so much. But regardless, we managed to get every single My Team Anniversary card, which means we can lock in both of these sets for choices of the My Team Anniversary in-game option pack. We get two choices. But before we hop into the video, talk about what cards are in these uh, pa in this pack and then what I would recommend that you choose personally. Um, um, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards Towards the 7,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day. Oh, I didn't for a week because I was out of town, but now I'm back in town and we're back to uploading every single day. And I would really appreciate it if you do subscribe. But uh, without further ado, let's hop right into it. And first of all, let's talk about what cards are in these packs. So the cards that are in these packs are obviously five in games and it's five of the best in games in the game. Those being in game Kobe Bryant. See if we can find him first. Okay, here we go. In game Kobe. And this in-game Kobe is one of the best point guards in the game. Very, very good card. If you're looking for a PG, Kobe is the only card of these end games that can play that point guard position. He's one of the best point guards in the game for sure. One of the best primary ball handlers in the game. An absolutely elite card across the board. At another one of your options is going to be in-game Michael Jordan. There are two in-game MJs, but it's going to be the one that can't play the point guard position. The shooting guard small forward MJ, which is the better MJ in my opinion. I like his release a little bit better. And he has the tray escape versus the curry escape. So I personally think that in-game, this in-game, MJ is the better in game MJ, and I think he's also an elite card. But the reason that I would say I personally would not pick this MJ is because all the other MJ cards are absolutely exceptional. His release is already uncontestable and already has absolutely incredible sigs. I have an invincible MJ on my team right now as my starting point guard. If y'all, as y'all can see, he's an absolutely incredible card, even without his in game card. So, personally, I would not get Jordan. Now, the next player in this pack is going to be in game LeBron. If I can find LeBron, I'm not sure where he is, uh, I'm not sure which LeBron it's this LeBron. Okay. Okay, so it's small forward, power forward, LeBron, one of the best, if not the best small forwards in the game, also has exceptional six, set shot 25, he's got the tray escape, not the curry escape like his point guard card has. Another exceptional, exceptional card, one of the best small forwards in the game. This is another great option if you're going to lock him in for the end game pack. Your last two options are going to be end game Giannis, the one that can't play the point guard position, which is this one. Again, I think it's the better Giannis. He can't play PG, but again, has set shot 25, tray escape, exceptional six, moves incredibly well. Another exceptional, exceptional card and then the last one is going to be end game kareem not this one that's the point guard kareem where's the other kareem um the way they have this setup kind of annoys me because you have to like find the cards but it's going to be this kareem right here which is the power forward center one of the best power forwards in the game if not the best power forward in the game another exceptional card also has set shot 25 perfect six an amazing amazing card so it's five of the best in games in the game all five cards are top cards their position just because of how good mj is i would not lock him in but outside of mj the other four kobe lebron Giannis, and kareem I would lock in whichever of those four, whether you're locking in one, if you completed one set or two, if you completed both sets, I would just pick between those four, the two players who you think are going to benefit your team the best. And right now y'all might be looking at my team and thinking Kobe might be the best benefit to my team because I could use a point guard, but I'm going to be picking up in game Luca and one of the magics or Ben's today to build out my team. So I'm not going to pick Kobe personally. And on the, for that reason, I think the guys that I'm going to be picking because I already have Yao and Taco as centers, I think I'm going to be taking the best power forward, which is Kareem and the small forward LeBron, who's probably right about as good as the small forward Giannis. LeBron's just one of my favorite players of all time. So I'm going to be taking LeBron and Kareem for me personally, but let's lock this in. It's really not that expensive as a set either, which I think is absolutely amazing. Uh, lock in both ends of most size of these sets. I probably paid less than 400,000 MT, maybe 300 to 350,000 MT for all 20 of these cards. They are more expensive now, especially some of the cards like Kobe. I know Kobe's really expensive. There's probably a couple more that are also very, very expensive, but but it's still not an incredibly expensive pack to lock in if you do want to open these packs and get these cards and did it glitch where where are my cards i'm very confused hold on give me one sec let's see if we can find these cards because uh they like i locked in the pack and it didn't give me anything so i'm like wondering if it glitched or something or what happened i'm very very confused all of a sudden here we go let's go to extras okay here we go now it should let me open this pack we should get two options here one thing i will note about these cards they are non-auctionable all of these and they don't have their proper card i don't know what's going on here to be completely honest but regardless they're not auctionable so that's one thing to keep in mind but i am going to take lebron and i am going to take kareem once this thing works it should give me two choices um Let's see. Yeah, it's going to give me a second choice. Okay. So I'm going to take LeBron and I'm going to take Kareem and I'm going to throw those cards in my lineup because those are some of the best cards in the game. And they are going to make massive, very, very 
really, really helpful additions to my team. So let's go over here. Let's throw these cards in my team, replacing Giannis with in-game LeBron. Uh, if we can find him, I, they need to fix this card art because the card arts are wrong right now. And then we'll replace Minute with Kareem. Throw Kareem in here. The fact the card arts are, throw, are off is kind of throwing me off just a little bit. But we now have our new starting small forward and our new starting power forward from that lock-in. Honestly, one of the best lock-ins that I uh, have ever seen 2K give. You got two free in-game cards. I know they're unauctionable, but they're two of the best cards in the game and will be for the rest of the year. And you get them for a very, very cheap price, especially if you've been collecting these anniversary cards from the beginning of the season. So in my personal opinion, I don't think it matters too much which of these in-game cards you lock in if you're locking in one or two. I would just lock in the one that I think that you think helps your team and benefits the positions that are weakest on your team the most. For me, that is my small forward and power forward position. So that for that reason, I went with LeBron and Curry. But Kobe's an amazing option. Giannis is an amazing option as well. And if you're a big MJ fan, if you want to run the in-game MJ instead of one of the other MJs, feel free to run him as well because he's also an exceptional card. I just personally wouldn't go with him because all the other end games, including this one, are all the other in MJs, including that one, are also amazing. So that's just my personal opinion on which Dark Matter in-game cards I would lock in personally. But honestly, this is one of the most worth it sets that 2K has ever dropped for lock-ins that I can remember since I started playing 2K, which is honestly super, super nice. And I'm excited to get game play with this LeBron and this cream use them on my squad uh, I'll be playing with my squad on stream later today so by the way if you haven't followed me on Twitch make sure you go drop and follow I stream daily over there especially now that I'm back from vacation I'm back to streaming daily so would really appreciate it if y'all do that as well but regardless um, don't want to drone on too long I hope y'all did enjoy the video if you did make sure you hit that like button leave a comment and subscribe I'll be back with more 2k content very very soon and I appreciate y'all peace